Hello, viewers. It's Tara's Apprentice and Jen Lynn back together again. Hi. <laughs> Way slower. It goes blurry on uh, you oh, on uh, oh. Skype. <laughs> To my you queen go. of England. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you move your hands fast on Skype, it gives you. <laughs> no, the queen of Florida. Okay, so it's it's after midnight, uh, now Saturday morning on the 23rd. Mueller's report has come out. Uh, Mueller has farmed out a lot of stuff to other districts uh, who are still investigating. But the first thing we're going to look at is Rosenstein and Barr, the Department of Justice. Now that Mueller's report is out, we're going to do a five card pull on um, what we can expect out of them regarding Trump and the Mueller report. Department of Justice. What it must be like around the office. The biggest criminal in the modern age. And the report everyone has been waiting on is now out. Mm -mm -mm. What you got? I got the first card is an offer. The four of cups. It's not something necessarily everybody wants, but here it is. I'm then below that. You got the Ten of Cups, so there is a togetherness there, not necessarily together as in happy, but just together. The Magician, so something substantial is what they see. There's the Lady of the Law, so this is really going to affect the SDNY. Then there's some disappointing news for the child. This is probably the childish person, so as far as the report goes, it is not necessarily something Donald wants to read, but as far as the DOJ goes, for whatever reason, there are some disappointed people in it, mm -hmm. uh, like around or involved, but they are bound by the law, so their skills will take hold, and in the end, they'll do what they need to do. So, you know, at this time that we're doing this reading, you know, there's the letter that Barr put out, but that's all we've heard. He's, you know, absorbing the report this weekend, and we're going to hear from him oh. later. So I've got the Ace of uh, Cups, a new emotion that he's got from this, um, and feeling embattled. Mm -hmm. um, I do have, uh, you know, this can be a card of celebration, but it could, it's also about supporting each other. So it feels like they're going to support each other through this. Mm -hmm. um, I've got the devil, all the greed and avarice. And like you, I've got the queen of swords. Uh, I think they're going to be farming more stuff out to um, these other court systems. Um, mm -hmm. I laid I laid a card on the uh, devil to clarify it, and I got the going away card. We can only hope. <laughs> mm. I like that uh, making an offer you can't refuse <laughs> in yours. The and I think that goes that goes well with your Ace of Cups and um, the second card you pulled. Is yeah. this is an emotion? Cups are emotion cards, and it is some news indeed coming for somebody. So let's take a look at the House where the Democrats are in control. How is the House going to react um, with all their committees? Because they can subpoena this report if it's not given to them. It's not just handed over and said, okay, you read too. They can, they, can also, they can also subpoena Mueller to come in and testify. Ooh, I got the patience card. Yeah. Just fell out. <laughs> Put mm -hmm. back in. They can uh, bring Mueller in to testify. Put it on TV. That is true. And then he'll go up there and um, I can't reveal that in open testimony. I can't reveal that in open. Yeah, it'll be a whole bunch of that, too. Oh, goodness. OK, well, I got the Knight of Cups as my first card. It seems as though the knight in shining armor so someone to save the day. But this is more like um, 
just the idealistic person too. So maybe this is the Adam shift. There is another person. There's a queen of wands and a queen of cups, excuse me, and then a queen of wands. So there are two women around that. One could be Nancy Pelosi because she is the Aries. Um, mm -hmm. There is action with the knight of wands. So they just may, because this is the knight of, the page of swords is like the inside man card. So they just may get him to come in if he does not do it voluntarily. Because sometimes the page of sword could be like the bratty kid. Mm -hmm. So if he does not come in voluntarily, they will drag him kicking and screaming. Yeah, I've got, I've got the um, magicians that tells me they're going to manipulate and power play them and... Uh, play some dirty tricks, you know, about the report getting, you know, trying to get it is going to be hard for them to get what I'm feeling. Um, secrets coming to light. Um, there's a male authority figure, and I, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling Needler's energy on this. It's really going to come to the forefront here, um, taking charge. Um, I feel like, I feel like uh, he's really going to come to the forefront. You know, we've got the fool, that's Trump. And the thievery that's going to be uncovered in the um, in the report. Mm. Um, I think they are. I think they are going to. You know, like the report may be manipulated a little bit. Like that might be a little bit redacted. Like they're not going to yeah. get the whole thing. And it's gonna they're going to be redacted. And they're probably going to have to subpoena and stuff. You know, to get it. Okay, so let's look at Beto O'Rourke. You want to give the background on him? Okay, so Beto O'Rourke apparently raised $6 million in one day. And that raised the suspicion of most people. Now, when we did our live streams and things like that, I said, because people were very disappointed, that his problem is going to be money and people. Money and where he got that money from, who he got that money from. So there was a student that stood up and asked, are you bundling or people bundling um, donations? And bundling is basically you go get a bunch of money from a bunch of little small donations from people and give it all at once. Or is this because he said he's not taking corporate PAC money and all that. So they want to know where did he get six million dollars in one day? Now, we're not necessarily going to look all into that, but let's look at his chances. Like, what is his problem? What is what's standing in his way from him being president? If everybody likes him so much, what could possibly be the problem? Yes, we've both funny. read on him in the past, and, and we keep getting, like, there's something kind of blocking. Um, so let's just see what his chances are. It seems like they're saying the whole thing, though. Money and people. So let's see. First card I get is the chariot. That's self-discipline. That's moving forward. That's victory. But self-discipline stands out for me. There is the hangman, so there is some stagnation. So maybe he is stuck in his old ways. And, you know, people may not want to see that because they like him so much. He's the new golden child. Mm -hmm. um, there's the page of wands. So this is new. So this may come out, whatever this is. The king of wands. So there's a person of action, maybe someone of authority. And then the king of cups. I don't know what his sign is, but there are two men around his self-discipline and his stagnation. So he may not want to do certain things, but his outlook is not different. It still seems as though people influence him a lot more than his self-discipline does. Yeah. I've got, I've got judgment on him right now. Um, right now in the center uh, people judging a little bit and his challenge is trying to get to calmer waters um, at the root of this he he is embattled he is embattled um, it does feel a little bit like a game going on um, his past who he's in bed with in the past is affecting this um, and his agreements that he has 
Um, he is showing, you know, that he's financially secure. Um, this, this is interesting. I've got the sun in the future, and that's the best card I've ever had for him in the future. Uh, mm -hmm. Illumination, um, bright, joyful days. That's actually the best card I've had for him. So, um, interesting. It kind of, kind of feels like it might be changing a little bit for him. Uh, but I think his challenge is going to be who he's in bed with. Yeah, his his negative card is the King of Wands. His future for me is the King of Cups. So there is a person in his past that may mess up some things for him since his self-discipline is so stagnant. But his future card is the Man of Compassion. So that is the King of Cups. So it could get better. Yeah, it, it is around the financial security, whatever, whoever mm -hmm. he's in bed with uh, financially. It does seem to be that's the challenge. All right, now let's get to the fun thing, the one I've been waiting for. <laughs> Kelly, Kellyanne Conway and George Conway. Uh, Twitter, Twitter rampages. George, you know, just letting Trump have it all over the place. Kellyanne Conway saying that she doesn't talk to Trump about it. Trump tweeting back to George. Just all these nasty things. Let's look from George's perspective, what he thinks of Kellyanne and Trump. Because right now, I don't feel like she's going to divorce him because then he could testify against her in a court of law. And they're probably made for each other. I mean, once she gets rid of Trump, I mean, she's still the same old gross little Conway. Yeah. <laughs> the Crip Keeper. So, yeah. <laughs> They're made for each other. <laughs> and then okay. Well, get? on the bottom of the deck, I've got the lovers. He thinks they're in bed together. <laughs> Lord. That I'm better be a gonna, metaphor. <laughs> I'm not going to say if that's physically or a metaphor. <laughs> that's a metaphor. That better be a metaphor. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, man. My whole deck fell apart. I can't wait a minute. <laughs> well, just to take that further, he's all alone. He's the hermit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's all alone in this marriage. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. His challenge is the messages. This is funny. His challenge is the messenger. Uh, he's, he's, he's feeling just morally bankrupt. He's feeling just completely devoid, uh, you know, in the past, all the battles, uh, crowning the reading, all the communication, all the tweets, blah, 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 blah. And it's all about his judgment, you know, on Trump in the future. Uh, he, he is judging them. Oh, man, he, he, and he thinks Trump has an addiction issue, too. Um, he also sees the court coming. He sees the court coming after him, the investigators. Uh, I'm not seeing his wife in here too much, but the fact that he thinks they're in bed together. <laughs> well, if he's the hermit, he's searching for us, so he don't see her either. He doesn't see her either. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. Okay, well, first card, strategy, but also sneaky, underhanded. Um, crowning is the Queen of Cups. How ironic. So... The sneaky underhanded leads to the Queen of Cups. I'm not saying who, I'm just saying Queen of Cups. <laughs> um, and his negative is the self-discipline and the victory. So this ain't getting no better, at least until they leave that White House. <laughs> um, and the positive is the hangman. Maybe things being stuck where they are is a good thing. Um, I don't see how that would be. Or maybe all of this has given him a new outlook on life. Because you think you know a person until they work for the president. And then they become, oh, there's the lover's card in the future. Um, Maybe he's got something, uh, a little uh, trapeze or something hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> that would just be, um, I'm going to put that down. That's what I'm going to say. Uphill battle. There's some disappointing news and then some loss for him as well. Um, I don't think she's leaving him, but all is not well in the Conway house. Because he may see her as a person of 
let's call it different integrity. She's sort of the all she's the alternative facts girl. So she's different in integrity wise. The lovers card is below both of them. So I don't think that they are separated, but they're not together. She's like the they, they're not on the same page. Yes. She's the alternative wife. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> who he really wants is not who he has. He's he's really feeling out in the cold in this marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. Oh, no. my God. Well, shall we stop there? Is there anything else you want to look at tonight? <laughs> well, let's see what she thinks like, about her marriage. Yeah, let's let's see what Kellyanne thinks of uh, George. We'll be fair. We'll, we'll do it we'll for both sides. <laughs> I don't know. I just had a flash image of when you held up that hangman and the lover's card of uh, <laughs> a trapeze hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> oh, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. What sign is Kellyanne? I, I didn't even uh... She's the hangman sign That's what she is <laughs> <laughs> I don't know She come up as the queen of cups for me If that ain't his, if that ain't her Then who else is this woman he's talking about So she better be <laughs> Was it Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer Yeah She better be one of those But she got a side piece And we don't know about it Ellie Ann, what do you think about your marriage? Because if I get the sneaky card again, then somebody cheating on somebody. <clears throat> well, what is her sign? The Queen of Pentacles is my first card for her. So we're going to have to look that up. Um, crowning her is the king of pentacles, as often seen as Trump being the money man. Um, and the negative is the confusion. Many choices, don't know which way to go, not quite sure what to do. And the positive is her job. Now, I said, what about her marriage? And I got three pentacle cards. Like, what's really going on? What about <laughs> marriage? This is the outcome. Mystery and mystique. Things are not yet clear i get confusion and not clear so she is on the fence about something he is if if she's not the queen of cups then he's got a girlfriend down the street this that's interesting because i've got you know she sees him as like clinging oh lord her, but her challenge her challenge is illumination and joy her challenge is joy and and having clarity her challenge is clarity so it's mirroring right back to yours um at the root of this she thinks he's walked away she thinks he's already checked out emotionally or checked out um i think he might be drinking a little bit i've got temperance over here in the past uh one of them i feel like is drinking and it feels like him um which you know if i had to look at her every night i'd probably drink <laughs> Uh, there is a, a, a nurturing <laughs> woman crowning this reading, so he might be getting some affection elsewhere. Uh, was that, the queen of cups? that was the Empress. Oh, the Empress. Uh, oh, that's emotional woman, though. It's emotional woman, but it also can be a pregnant woman. And you know, the Sun card has a little baby on it too. I wonder if he's gotten somebody else pregnant here. <laughs> um, and, and there's and there's a new emotion right now. There's a new emotion um, that is going on with them. It's about an end to a cycle and beginning something new. So um, <laughs> I just laid a clarifier. I, I I feel like it involves a child. I feel like it involves a child. I bet okay. you anything. Uh, there's a y'all y'all. We gotta see if he has a, a baby out of wedlock here because I don't see this as Kellyanne pregnant. I don't feel her energy on yeah, that. Yeah, no, she ain't no. She, on no. the bottom um bottom of my deck, I've got that she sees him in retreat from her. Yeah. See, she got the confusion too, because she doesn't. She's got some sort of many options thing. Now, I pulled three more cards for her. Uh huh. Knight, the Knight of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the King of Pentacles all came up. So I'm gonna leave that alone. <laughs> so, you think these guys are just swinging? 
Mm, mm, Got mm. some multiple partners and a little trapeze in the bedroom. <laughs> Lord. Oh my God. So does he well, have a baby? I don't know. I'm I'm feeling baby energy, child energy off of those cards. That was weird. Um yeah. man. Mm -mm. I'd, I'd have to drink or, uh, if I were a man, I'd have to drink or find a paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> or both. <laughs> I, I think we've just gone down the rabbit hole. Maybe we should stop there for this one. <laughs> I'm done. Uh -uh. I'm done. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, We'll try again, uh, do this. Try not to watch too much news on the Mueller report. They're going to spend it a hundred different ways. Yes. Everybody's going to have a different opinion. Just wait and see what happens. Wait till April and then go back to it. Perfect. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.